Hey guys, how you doing? It's uh, oh, I missed my off ramp. We'll figure it out. It's uh, Chewy from the uh, Variation Network. Uh, today I just decided not to go to work and drive. I had a lot of errands to do. I had to go send out some eBay um, listings I sold, and uh, I needed to send, go to the to the bank. And so I thought it would be a great day because the weather's not really great today. It's kind of off and up, you know, good and bad. We have uh, scattered sh showers in Southern California. And I thought I would go back and um, uh, check with a, a LGS that I had picked up from carts. Because I really like the service. The, the place, the shop is called um, Dark Side Games, Los Angeles, in Duarte, California. And um, there's also a Dark Side Games in Las Vegas. But if you, if you all go to that one, then... I might go visit that when I get out to Vegas, but I'm going to go and revisit uh, Dark Side Games in Duarte, California, and check out and see what they are, and um, see if they've got any new TCGs or any of the packs go. So stay tuned. dismay they are closed so sad let me see Monday to Thursday 3 to 11 Friday Saturday 12 to 11 so I've got to wait approximately another half hour before I get in so all right Let's go check out and see what Target looks like and what they have. They probably can get back in this store. I'm not going to waste this drive. Stay tuned. Folks, so um, Dark Side Games finally opened up. I uh, met a, another collector at Target. So at the Target, I did pick up two more of the My Academia um, League of Villains. This is actually where I picked up the really cool rare card. And so we're going to do a second video of the pack opening. Um, and wait, just stand by for those. As well as if, when I did go to Dark Side, they didn't have my Wii Cross and stuff. So I'm going to have to go and look. But I did pick extra sleeves for my my cards or standard size cards because I was running low. And I saw this, which is really cool. So it's a Japanese, just standard common uh, Viridian. Uh, it's one of the, the um, forest uh, archers. So $24, but I, I really like the card. And so... The counter card that was also Japanese, but it was a more popularly used one, uh, cost $31, so no on the budget for that. So I'm going to run down to the Target down the street because uh, I understand that they have uh, some sleeved um, hanging uh, booster packs of Astral, um, Lost Origin, and uh, Vivid Voltage for cheaper than what Target sells them for. Um, so... Stay tuned. 
So this is the um, result of my uh, uh, day off LGS day. Uh, so basically running into a collector, I was able to pick up uh, packs of Vivid Voltage um, from Short and, Sword and Shield for about $4, which is about a quarter less than what Target charges. And so I got these three. For future uh, pack openings um, from Target, I got two more of the uh, the My Hero Academia with the League of Villains, and at Best Buy, I picked up the Collector Booster for Mom, which actually is three dollars cheaper than what Target's charging and everybody else. So uh, they only had one, so I took it. And then the, they had the draft pack for Marching Machine, which has three draft boosters, and Coincidentally enough, this was a good price because it was twelve ninety nine. So that really comes out to, you know, just under like four thirty a pack, and I think these run about four ninety nine at Target and some of the LGS. So this was a pretty good price. So we're gonna go ahead and see what what they look like, um, and I'm gonna have these opened up in the future videos. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to share you with you. Uh, how my day went and uh, thank you for watching and have a great day